In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Darth Vader from Rogue One. Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosks Bounty video and welcome to my review of the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Darth Vader on the Rogue One card. This is part of the most recent wave of figures that we've recently got. Check out my other reviews on the channel for those figures. But this is Darth Vader and I've been waiting for this figure for a long time. I think it was actually the first figure of this wave that was revealed officially by Hasbro. And when I first saw the images for this Darth Vader, I was like, oh man, they're not using plastic for the inner sort of cape. That's not good. But we're going to check him out anyway and we're going to see and we're going to compare him to a figure that I think and a lot of other people think is the best Darth Vader that we have. So it'll be good to compare them, good to compare the head sculpt and obviously uh, the articulation as well so let's get into this and first of all let's have a look at the card back now the card back's pretty good i do like the card back i like the way the explosion's going off of course this is the end of rogue one with darth vader there using the force look he looks pretty evil um once again though these cards they they look a little bit out of focus i can't help but feel that but i just kind of think that might be the aesthetic that hasbro are going for with these images because they are supposed to be sort of like vintage basically but to me i think they can come up with a, a sharper image than that but it's still a pretty good image of darth vader we've got the rogue one logo there so it's nice to have another rogue one logo nice to have one that isn't a green name pill and the thing behind the figure because all the ones that we've had recently like k2so and chira in way have been green uh but yeah we've got darth vader on the yellow there the mustard yellow Kenner logo at the bottom with the racetrack design. He's looking pretty decent in the bubble. Back of the back of the card, he is VC178. There's the rest of the figures in the line. As I said, I've done reviews for most of them. And if I haven't, then they will be upcoming on the channel. That's enough of the card back. Let's have a look at the figure. All right then, so here's Darth Vader out of the packaging. And I'm not gonna lie, I said that I would have quite a bit to say about this Vader and I, I still do. Now I've got him in hand. Um, I'm going to go over the things that I think are the positives about the Vader. The first thing is the head sculpt is very, very good in my opinion. I think it's really, really accurate to the film. I love the way the eyes glow there, the red. Really do like that. If we bring in the other one that I have, which is what I consider to be the best Darth Vader. I actually prefer this head sculpt. I think the brow on, his, on the helmet on the eyes there is slightly higher. So you can see those eyes a bit more. And I just think the details on the helmet are just a little bit more defined. Um, but we've got to remember that this is supposedly the Revenge of the Sith Vader. And this one is obviously Rogue One Stroke, uh, A New Hope, I guess. Um, so I love the helmet. I love the red eyes there. Very good indeed. And I do like the detailing on his chest plate, the paintwork on his buttons, on his chest and on his belt are very, very good. Even these tiny little ones here on his belt, there's no paint overspill or anything. You can really make out the red and the green buttons there. Very, very nice. And the cape seems to be a better quality cape as well. The materials, very nice, feels good in the hand. It drapes not too bad. I think obviously it's been in the package. So it does need a bit of an iron, maybe a bit, bit of flattening out. And then I feel that it will drape slightly better. It's just that it's been in that package and obviously it's a bit crumpled and everything. So um, you can just see there. But I do I do like the cape. It's not as see-through, even though you can see through it there. It's not as see-through as the previous fader that I showed there. So it's a, you know... Just, just to be on display, it looks a really, really good Vader. I'm not going to lie. But now I'm going to talk about the things where I think Hasbro have gone a little bit backwards, in my opinion, in terms of the design. And the first is the glaringly obvious plastic pieces of his sort of underskirt. You know, they're plastic. Whereas on this figure, you know, they're cloth. And I just think it looks better with the whole sort of figure if they are cloth having said that with plastic you can never not have them draping nicely because obviously they don't flare out they are plastic they're sculpted in so from that point of view as i say just on display it looks pretty good 
The only other thing that I've got a real complaint about, and that's the articulation where I think they've gone backwards and it's at the wrist. They've gone for the articulation at the glove, at the top of the glove again. And I just think that's a backward step. If we look at the other Vader, he has the hinge at the wrists. Um, and it still looks like a glove, you know? So I don't know why they couldn't have done that. I, the gloves on this guy are a lot more shiny. And it does look like an all one piece because that's exactly how it is. So that's where the articulation is. It's at the top of the glove rather than the wrist, which does restrict him in holding the lightsaber in certain ways. Apart from that, the articulation is very, very similar to the other Vader. We've got the head on a ball joint, plenty of movement there. We've got ball jointed shoulders. We have ball jointed elbows. We have a swivel at the waist. We have ball jointed hips, knees and ankles. Uh, no rocker on the ankles. But there you go. It's got to be said, he does look very good indeed. I just would have preferred the soft goods for his sort of whatever you call these, his underskirt, if you like, these things that drape down. I would have preferred those to be soft rather than plastic. And the articulation at the arm, I just think that's a, a backward, a backward step, in my opinion. It should have hinges at the uh, wrists. But as I said, he looks great. The, the helmet sculpt, sculpt is fantastic. And I just love the red eyes. They glow up in the light. Fantastic. The accessory here of the lightsaber, I think we've pretty much seen one of those before. Doesn't look too much different to ones that I've seen before. The blade is not removable. It's all one piece and it's like a deep red. So there you go. This hand, he's sort of like doing a force choke. This hand's more closed, but either hold the uh, lightsaber absolutely fine. So there you go then, that is Darth Vader on the Rogue One card. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think of this Vader? Do you prefer this Vader? This is the 3.75 inch black series Vader. I think he's number three in the line of the TIE Fighter packaging, but he also did come in the orange line as well. Uh, they repacked him like a year later. But uh, which Vader do you prefer? I think a mix of both would have been absolutely perfect. But um, yeah, as I say, still, still a decent looking Vader. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And we shall see you on the next one.